Can childbirth affect women's long-term sexual life? What is the truth about penis size? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Childbirth can affect women's long-term sexual life due to changes in anatomy and sexual response. However, with time and care, many women can recover and enjoy a satisfying sexual life after childbirth. The truth about penis size is that most individuals fall within an average range. What is more important in sexual relationships is communication, emotional connection, and mutual satisfaction, not penis size. Role playing. Some couples enjoy role playing during foreplay, where they can explore different fantasies and erotic scenarios, such as doctor patient play, teacher student, or clandestine encounters. Science of kissing. A kiss can activate up to 34 different muscles in the face and burn between two and five calories per minute. Self-exploration. Encouraging self-exploration and masturbation can be helpful for some individuals experiencing anorgasmia as it allows them to. Sensory experience. Some women prefer sexual positions that stimulate multiple senses, such as sight, smell, and touch, which can intensify their sexual experience. Sex and creativity. Sex and creativity are related in various ways. Many artists and writers have found inspiration in their sex lives. The connection between artistic expression and intimacy can be a source of innovation and personal expression. Sex and longevity. Several studies have shown that an active sex life may be related to greater longevity. Endorphins released during sex can reduce stress and improve mood, contributing to a longer and healthier life. Sex in nature, or outdoor sex, can be an exciting experience. However, it's important to remember legality and respect for privacy and the environment. Sex in water, such as in a pool or bathtub, can be a common fantasy. However, water can remove the body's natural lubrication, leading to uncomfortable friction. Sex toy museums. In some cities around the world, there are museums dedicated exclusively to the history and evolution of sex toys, exhibiting a wide variety of artifacts and devices over time. Sexomnia is a sleep disorder in which a person engages in sexual acts while asleep, unaware of their actions. It can lead to awkward situations and may require medical attention. Sexual education. Some people use pornography as a tool for sexual education, although this can be problematic due to the unrealistic and unhealthy representation of sexuality. Sexual fantasies. Many women turn to sexual fantasies during masturbation to increase excitement and pleasure. These fantasies can vary widely and may include erotic situations, locations, or imaginary individuals. Sexual liberation. Female masturbation has been an important aspect in the fight for women's sexual liberation, as it gives them control over their own sexuality and pleasure. Sexual response cycle. The traditional model of the sexual response cycle includes four phases, excitement, plateau, orgasm, and resolution. However, this model can vary in each individual and may not always follow a linear pattern. Sexual role-playing involves taking on characters or erotic scenarios during sexual activity. It can be a fun way to explore fantasies and desires. Sexuality and gender identity. Sexuality is inherently linked to gender identity, but it is important to remember that gender identity does not determine a person's sexual orientation. People of all gender identities can have a wide variety of sexual orientations. Sexuality in Kama Sutra culture, the Kama Sutra, an ancient Hindu text on love and sexuality, provides a detailed insight into sexual positions and erotic techniques. Despite its fame, the Kama Sutra promotes a balanced view of love and pleasure. Sexuality in old age. As people age, 
Their sexual needs and desires may change, but sexuality remains an important part of life. Many older adults continue to enjoy an active and satisfying sex life. Sexuality and Therapy Sex therapy is a specialized field that helps people address sexual problems and improve their sex life through exploration of thoughts, emotions, behaviors, and relationships related to sexuality. Short hair fetishism involves a particular attraction to people with short hair, either for their aesthetic appearance or fetishistic associations. Skin as a sexual organ, the skin is the body's largest organ and is filled with nerve endings. Physical contact, such as hugs and massages, can be highly erotic and stimulating. Sleep paralysis is a terrifying experience, where a person temporarily wakes up unable to move. Occasionally, people report sexual experiences during these episodes. Socioeconomic factors, lack of access to healthcare, poverty, lack of education, and social stigma can contribute to a higher incidence of STDs in certain marginalized populations and communities. Spirituality. For some women, spirituality and the search for meaning in life are attractive qualities. STDs and cancer. Some STDs, such as HPV, are associated with a higher risk of developing cancer, such as cervical cancer, anal cancer, and penile cancer. Stimulation of erogenous zones. In addition to the clitoris, women have a variety of erogenous zones on the body that can be stimulated during foreplay, such as the nipples, neck, inner thighs, and ears. In some European countries like the Netherlands and Sweden, sex education focuses not only on pregnancy and disease prevention, but also on sexual pleasure and communication in intimate relationships from an early age. Syphilis, a sexually transmitted disease caused by the bacterium Treponema pallidum, has experienced a resurgence in recent years in several countries, especially in urban populations and among men who have sex with men. Tantric sex is a practice that focuses on emotional connection and deep intimacy. It emphasizes control of arousal and can lead to prolonged and satisfying sexual experiences. The association between financial stress and sex, financial stress can have a negative impact on couples' sex lives. Concerns about finances can decrease sexual desire and satisfaction. The effect of music on sex, music can influence sexual arousal. Some people find that certain music genres, such as jazz or R&B, can create an intimate and sensual atmosphere. The effect of stress on libido, chronic stress can negatively impact libido. The release of stress hormones can reduce sexual desire. Finding ways to manage stress, such as meditation or exercise, can help improve libido. The heart during orgasm, orgasm can significantly accelerate your heart rate. In some cases, the heart rate can reach 180 beats per minute during an orgasm. However, note that this does not replace regular physic. The impact of culture on sexuality. Culture plays a significant role in shaping attitudes, beliefs, and sexual practices. What is considered acceptable or taboo in terms of sexuality can vary significantly from one culture to another. Sexual dysfunction. Sexual dysfunction can affect both men and women and includes problems such as erectile dysfunction, lack of sexual desire, and anorgasmia. Treatments and therapies are available to address these issues. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.